Greetings. In this video, we are going to look at how we can create graphics using SmartArt in Microsoft Word. So once you open your Microsoft Word, you click on Insert here, and then you click on SmartArt right there, and it will bring you different types of SmartArt. So you can use this to, uh, to represent and visualize uh, data uh, depending on uh, the data that you have and the format with which you want it to be represented. So we have different smart art styles here. So we have a list here in case you want to represent anything in form of a list. These are the different type of lists that it offers. Process, uh, it could be you want to describe a process in hier hierarchical order or depending on uh, the different illustrations that you have provided here. We have cycle, we have the different types, hierarchy, relationship, matrix, pyramid picture uh, you can use any of these to insert pictures uh, in case you want to do a visual which has also some images to it it's very important that uh, you're able to do that so i will look first at cycle i will select uh, this first one and then i click ok okay so uh, this is our our smart art here and we want to begin making changes to it so just like the uh, the text part we have here once you click in it you can select and begin putting your own text so in each shape are uh, you go putting in something Okay, so to change uh, the, the, the font and the color of the text uh, within the shapes here, you select uh, it right there, then you go to home, and you can change the font. You can also change its color. Okay. Then to make changes to uh, to a shape uh, within the design here, once you click on it, uh, you come here to format, okay, and then it can it brings different styles. Okay, so you ensure that um, you have selected the shape that you want to change, and then you click on the different styles here. You can further make more changes here. So uh, if you want to add a shape, um, just either before or after it, uh, you come here to add shape. And you can click either add shape after or add shape uh, before. Then to change this particular shape, uh, we have the change shape here. Then you select and then you can change it to what other shape uh, that you deem fit. Select this. As you can see, it has changed. Okay. We can also further make more changes here when we go to format shape in case you want to change the color okay come here to solid fill you click here and you can change its color okay as you can see it has changed then you can also change uh, have uh, different edits for these arrows right here you click on it so just like we did for the other shape you can add a shape let us see now that the add shape functionality you can add a shape after as you have seen uh, it has added a shape right there more to still uh, you can still format the shape and change its color So 
so you can go on making changes uh, to each of these uh, different shapes within the design okay